Hello friends, in this session we are gonna see the differences between the primary key and a unique key. This is one of the most frequently asked SQL Server interview question. Before we discuss the differences between primary key and a unique key, let's see what is a primary key and what is a unique key. Primary key is the key which uniquely identifies each and every record in the table. That is, if we have a primary key on a table, you can identify each and every row in the table uniquely using primary key. Coming to the unique key, this enforces uniqueness on the columns in which it is defined. That is, unique key will make sure that only unique values are allowed in the column in which it is defined. If we see the similarities between primary key and unique key, both allow only unique values, that is it will avoid the duplicates and both these keys, primary and unique keys can be used to uniquely identify each and every record on that table. Coming to the differences between primary key and unique key, primary key doesn't allow nulls whereas unique key allows only one null. A table can have only one primary key. A table can have multiple unique keys. By default primary key, key creates a clustered index and by default unique key creates a non-clustered unique index on the table. We will see each of these differences with examples here. First here I am creating a customer table with four columns ID, name, SSN, phone columns. I created this table with one primary key and two unique keys. I have primary key on ID column and unique keys on phone and SSN columns. So I created this table. Let's see if we can create the same table with multiple primary keys. So first I am dropping this table. Then I am adding one more primary key on phone column. So now I am trying to create a table with two primary keys. When I compile this script, I got the I got an error message saying that you cannot add multiple primary keys on a table. So which implies we can have only one primary key on the table and we can have multiple unique keys on a table. Now again I am creating the customer table with one primary key and unique keys. I am inserting the data into customer table. So this is successful. Let's try to insert one more row with the same ID by modifying the other data. So here I am trying to insert ID 1 again. So this throwed me an error message saying that primary key violation and duplicates are not allowed on the primary key column. So similarly, let's try to add same phone number by modifying the other data. That is we are inserting the duplicate phone number here. So as you can see here, we got an error message saying that unique key violation and duplicate values are not allowed on the unique key column. This implies only unique values are allowed on primary key and unique columns and duplicates are not allowed. Now let's try to insert null into the primary key. Here we got an error message saying that primary key doesn't allow nulls. Now I am trying to insert null into the unique key column. This insert script is executed successfully. Let's try to repeat the same by inserting one more null into the unique column. As you can see here we got an error message saying that unique key violation and duplicates are not allowed into the unique key column. So this implies nulls are not allowed on the primary key and only one null is allowed on the unique key column. Now let's see the internal structure of this customer table. Query SP help on customer table. 
if we analyze the indexes on this table on id we have a unique clustered index that is by default primary key created a unique clustered index on the table similarly if we see here we have a unique non clustered index on phone column and one more unique non clustered index on the ssn columns that is by default unique key created a non clustered index which implies by default primary key creates a unique clustered index and unique key creates a non clustered index to summarize the differences we have seen here primary key doesn't allow nulls unique key allows only one null a table can have one primary key and multiple unique keys by default primary key creates unique clustered index and by default unique key creates unique non clustered index on the table i hope this session is clear and i hope this knowledge should help you in interviews please share your valuable comments and suggestions also please subscribe to my channel for more sql survey interview questions and answers bye bye thank you and have a good day